Today I wanted to do a little video to show you guys how I've been rigging up my FX3. Um, one of the problems I had, like many people, is that the way the, uh, the handle works, it's not really a useful way to mount a monitor on it. So what I've done is come up with the solution of mounting the monitor using some small rig accessories. So uh, I thought it might be quite useful to share that with you and show you exactly what I've done. Okay, so uh, I'll show you a bit more detail about the rig. So my main aim with this was to, as I say, to be able to use the XLR handle at the same time as a monitor in a useful position, uh, which you can kind of see here. I mean, it's, I like the monitor to be fairly low, as low as possible. I mean, you can mount one on top if, if there was a mounting point, and I know there's some solutions coming out to do that. But for me, having it a bit lower uh, makes the rig a lot easier to use. So I'll break down for you exactly how I've achieved this. I've got my Sony wireless mounted to the side, so I'll take that off and take that out of the way for you so that you can see a bit more detail about what we've got here. So this is all mounted on the small rig half cage, which I find to be really useful because of the it's got the 15 mil rod thread at the top here, which allows you to have a few options for, for mounting kit. Yeah, so that's the uh, Sony wireless kit removed. So I've got two different rods here. So I've got the four inch carbon rod mounted, and then I've got one of these uh, small rig uh, 15 mil rod brackets, just to, just to bring the next rod up to the right height. And then that moves along to what to a Nitsi monitor mount, which is available on Amazon. Yeah, I'll, I'll post some links to that in the description. And then I've got my Atomus Shinobi mounted on top of that. So one of the nice things about this is if you're using a shotgun mic, you can, as you can see here, um, there's plenty of clearance between the shotgun mic and the monitor. And the nice thing is if I'm using something like a, you know, a dead cat or something on the shotgun, I do have the option to, to loosen these brackets and then I can move the rod over a little bit and then just, just adjust the monitor straight again which means then I've got a little bit more clearance between the shotgun and the monitor. So that can all work really nicely. You do also have the option to move the monitor almost in the middle. So I can show you how I do that. I loosen up the uh, bracket on the side here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, by the way, I'm filming this on the FS5, so the focus on this is not quite as clever as the FX3, but hopefully it's doing a good enough job. So I'm gonna pop this over. So, so you'll notice that this rod will actually now fit all of the way underneath the XLR bracket there, allowing me to, to move that all the way down. And then tighten up this front part. Excuse me, I just might try and do that. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, that makes it a really compact setup. So now it's all sitting really close. Um, and there we can see that, that that is, hopefully you get the idea. Having that pressed against the XLR module a little bit kind of allows it to be quite stable. If you do have any questions, then please leave a comment down below and subscribe and like the video if you can. It really helps. I'm just trying to kind of get my channel going again. So any of that will, will really help me a lot. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.